Right, our next two stars are actually a soap couple with a healthy relationship. How weird is that on a soap? That's because they're in different soaps. Please welcome. Corrie's Michelle Connor and Hollyoaks' Warren Fox, alias real-life couple, Kim Marsh and Jamie Lomas. <laughs> Um, you weren't expecting to be on yet, were you? No. No. Thank you. Never mind. Get yourself comfy. It could be a long night for you after no. all. How are you feeling? Very nervous. Very nervous. Really You're not nervous. normally. You've done telly for years. It's the first time I've been speechless in a long time, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> How do you work it now? Because you're, you're basically Liverpool and you're basically uh, up the road, aren't you, Manchester? Yeah. Or do you actually yeah. see each other? Um, well, you've been off <laughs> off work for quite a while with the baby. Oh yes, of course. Baby, you haven't so. gone back yeah. yet, have you? Um, no. Because of the. Yeah. yeah. Ah. I've been off for the best part of ten months now. When you go back, you were saying to me earlier, you want to be nastier. <laughs> yeah. I'd just like to see her, you know, have a bit more. A darker side. Yeah. Definitely. Is it true you met at the Soap Awards? Yeah. yeah we did. Oh, we didn't meet at the Soap Awards, but that's where we got together. Well, our eyes first met on say? a train. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> we met did on you, a train no, first. Just truthfully, did you... I mean, you obviously presumably knew who each other were anyway from the, the work you do, but did you look across the room at Kim and go... Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to say that then. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. He looked at me with fear in his eyes. <laughs> and did you look at him and go... Hmm. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> Come on. Three of the blokes put their hands up there. <laughs> half of Kim and Jamie's winnings will be added to the weekend's viewer prize pot, and the other half will go to their favourite charities, Bliss and Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. Now, as ever, they have their lifelines, and for the first two questions, they have just 15 seconds. Lots of luck to both of you. I hope you're in for a long stay. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> So, Kim, Jamie, I'll read the question, then I'll start the clock. You'll have 15 seconds, OK? Have a look. Question number one is for £500. Here we go. Harry Styles is one-fifth of which boy band? 15 seconds from now. One Direction, Lucky Selection, Teen Affliction, No Convictions. Hang on. <laughs> a, One Direction, final answer. Jamie? Yeah. Kim's a bit of a fan, so... <laughs> <laughs> Have you got one well, of their arteries? Yeah. yeah. It's the right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> you can go now if you want, but <laughs> yeah. we'll give us an awful lot of time to fill. Um, you have 500 pounds. Question number two is for 1,000. Last point, I will warn you, last point at which you could go home with nothing. To be honest, it hasn't happened on this show for about six years. It won't happen. You've got three lifelines. Use them if you have to. OK. Kim, don't doubt yourself. Use them if you have to. Don't worry about using them early. But I'm sure you won't need them. Question number two is for £1,000. Here it comes. Who was asked by his future mother-in-law, Princess Anne, to have his nose straightened before his wedding? Start the clock. Prince William, Jamie Hintz, Mike Tyndall, Daniel Craig. C. Mike Tyndall. Final answer, C. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> I don't know how he, uh, how he phrased it to Mom, but basically he said no. He's broken his nose eight times in 12 years. Didn't <laughs> There's no point. Join us after the break to see if these guys can add more money into the viewer prize pot. Don't go away. We'll see you in a few minutes. Yes, all right, you rabble. Welcome back to this live. You can probably hear how live it is. Who wants to be a millionaire? Sunday night, Soap Stars special. We've been going right across this marathon. Who wants to be a millionaire weekend? Don't forget, you can join the conversation on Twitter, Facebook, or go to our website on uh, itv.com slash millionaire. Now, before the break, Kim and Jamie came in here trembling, but they're doing OK. They've got off the starting blocks. They've got a £1,000. Now, that does mean for the next five questions, they'll have 30 seconds to answer. You're right, Kim. Yeah, my palms are sweating. Come on, I'll try and fire you. Oh, thanks, darling. Oh, bless. <laughs> so am I. Oh, never mind. <laughs> OK, you have £1,000. Question number three is for £2,000. I'll tell you the question and I'll read the four possible answers as fast as I can. You'll have 30 seconds. Here it comes. 
What name is given to the revelation of a future soap storyline? Start the clock. Waster, spoiler, disappointer, ruiner. Yeah. B, spoiler. Final answer. Hang on. You're not doing a Ricky Groves, are you? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> you haven't. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. Yay! Oh, stop it, the pair of you. It's disgusting. <laughs> My hands are shaking, that's all it is. <laughs> you got £2,000. Feel okay? <laughs> yeah, so great. Far? You got three lifelines. Uh, question number four is for £5,000. Again, you'll have 30 seconds. Here it comes. Which of these is not, not the first letter of a country? Okay, which of these is not the first letter of a country? 30 seconds from now. Q, V, X, Z. Do you know? Ask again? the audience. Okay, stop the clock. You'll have 21 seconds when we come back from the audience. You can still use the 50 50. You could still phone a friend after that. You could panic or you could take the money. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. First lifeline that Kim and Jamie have needed. Which of these is not, not the first letter of a country? A on your keypad will be Q, B will be V, C will be X, D, Z. Which of these is not the first letter of a country? A, Q, B, V, C, X, D, Z. All in the keypads, please. All vote now. <laughs> uh, 9% Q, 15% V. That'll be a puzzle to anybody Venezuelan. 65% uh, X and 11% Z. Restart the clock. What you going to do? Yeah, yeah I'm we'll go with the audience. We did just think that. Yeah. <laughs> Final answer? <laughs> yeah. Why are you cackling manically? Uh, it's the right answer. You've got £5,000. <laughs> there is Q for uh, Qatar who puzzlingly are hosting the World Cup yeah. quite soon. Venezuela, Vietnam, uh, Vatican Council as a country, and also Z, Zambia mm -hmm. and Zimbabwe. It's a bit thick of us really not we, to go that was it? As soon as we asked, we were like, oh, I can't believe it. Uh, you got £5,000. <laughs> it's good. It's good here, isn't it? Uh, and the prize pot's going up at the same time, and money for charity's going up. But I have to warn you, you've only actually got £1,000 guaranteed at this moment, but you're three away from 50000 and you have two lifelines remaining. You've got 50 50 you've got phone a friend. Question number five, you can double your money here for £10,000. You would lose four if you give me a wrong answer. Here it comes. Ooh, the name of which game comes from the Swahili verb to build? 30 seconds. Yahtzee, uh, Ludo, Dingbats, Jenga. I'm pretty yeah, certain yeah. about that. Jamie's nodding. Uh, should we go for yeah. it? D, Jenga. Stop the clock. Oh. Why? Oh. Well, it's just because there's a game, isn't there? Jenga, and it's so. building. And it's building. So, hopefully it's Jenga. I will tell you, Dominic and Mark sitting there trembling, they also think it's Jenga. It's the right answer, you've got £10,000. Oh. Big Man U fan. <coughs> Massive. Big game tomorrow. Yeah, Tottenham tomorrow. I'll be there. Mm. Think so. you win? Uh, yeah, well, we've, uh, you know, we've done well against Tottenham over the years, so, yeah, they don't get uh, much luck against us, so, yes, I think, we're, uh, I think we'll be... Are you ever going to beat over. Barcelona? Well, they're the, great, the best team I've ever seen. Fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Um, and I went, I've been to two Champions League finals to see them play, and, mm. you know, it's just a pleasure to watch them play. Um, so, you know, at least we could... Say we got beat off the best team in the world. <laughs> okay. I remember you in Dream Team. In Dream Team. Now, you've got 10,000 pounds. <laughs> That's good, Dream Team. 50 50, phone a friend, remain. Question number six for 20,000 pounds. Focus, guys. You'd lose 9,000 pounds here if you gave me a wrong answer. You can use both lifelines and you can still take the money. You could take 10,000. But have a look. Question number six is for 20 grand. Here it comes. Which world leader celebrated his 50th birthday earlier this month? Start the clock. Barack Obama, David Cameron, Nicolas Sarkozy, Vladimir Putin. Are you sure? How sure are you? No, I'm not positive. Do you want to do 50-50? Um, yeah. We do 50-50. Yeah, stop, stop the clock. You'll have 17 <laughs> seconds left. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Jamie and Kim the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Restart the clock, 17 seconds. Cameron okay. or Obama? Should we go for it? If you're, if you're pretty certain. I'm not certain, but... You know, 
I, t I just remember I think reading it somewhere. Okay. So. Yeah? Yeah, all right, then we'll okay, go. go on. We're, we're going to have to now, so. A, Barack Obama, final answer. <laughs> Just won twenty thousand pounds. Uh, born in August, uh, 4th of August, nineteen sixty-one. Mm -hmm. David Cameron is forty-four. Sarkozy is fifty-six. I think it might be centimetres high. And Putin <laughs> is fifty-eight. You are one ooer, Kim Marsh. You are one away from fifty thousand fat ones. Come on, but. I'll tell you again, because there's quite a big club have done this, including David Walliams recently, Jimmy Nail, uh, Jonathan Ross, etc. If you give me a wrong answer, you lose £19,000. You <laughs> yeah. can phone a friend and still take the money. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Okay. Question number seven, though, would guarantee you £50,000. It would be the last question you would play against the clock. You can have a breather and you would get another lifeline. You get switch. Have a look at it. Tell me what you want to do. You can phone a friend and still take the money. Question number seven is for £50,000. Here it comes. The average human heart beats approximately how many times per day? Kim's grinning, but I think it's kind of hysteria. Start the clock. <laughs> 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million. You know this? No. No. Uh, phone a friend. Right, stop the clock. You left 24 seconds. Now, who have you... Oh, you got him. you got Jimmy. That. Now, who are you going to ring? Will he know that? I don't know, but he's quite knowledgeable and... Um, can if you, you work it out? Can you work it out? I can blame he's got 30 him. seconds, hasn't it? Work. Yeah, he's got th nearly 30 seconds. Uh, so. Are you sure? Well, who do you, do you... What do you think? Well, we could go... We could maybe go for Graham. Yeah? But, I mean, I don't... I don't want to... If Kim, you want to find Jimmy... Kim, we finish at 10. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> no, go on, Tim. Um, I, I think we should maybe have a go with Jimmy. Because then I can uh, blame him at work, you see. OK. Really right. All right. What do you think? Go for Jimmy, then. Okay, you, can, Jimmy. you can ask him, otherwise he'll be on the phone to me all night. <laughs> uh, going to talk to him? Yes. Okay, right. Okay, Jimmy, now, um, because our show tonight is live again, we have all our guests, phone and friends, closely guarded and under lock and key. Uh, they have no internet access, no search engine, they've got no TV either, so they actually have no idea what's happening, they have no idea what the question is at this moment, otherwise it would be kind of loaded. Hello? Jimmy! Yes. Chris Tarrant, good evening. How are you? I'm very well, Chris. How are you? Well, thank you. I'm good. Thank you for caring. Uh, thanks this for giving a, up your Sunday night. This was a call I was dreading. Now, nah, Jim, this is serious business. I've got Jamie and Kim here. They're doing all right, but they're stuck on a particular question. They need your help big time. Yep. Uh, it's a big old amount of money as well. It's for £50,000, mate, so it's quite serious. OK. OK, the next voice will be Kim. She'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers in 30 seconds. One of them is worth £50,000. OK. Right. All right, mate. Kim, darling, lots of luck. Your time starts now. Hi, Jimmy. The average human heart beats approximately how many times per day? A thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand or a million? How many times a minute? A day. A, a day. A day. The average heart, are how, are how many times per day? Give me the figures again. A thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand or a million? A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand? A hundred thousand, sure. Well, I'm not sure, but that's, I'm, I'm, that's a calculated guess, hundred thousand. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. Thank you. Restart the clock, 24 seconds. What are you going to do? Oh, this is horrible. What are you going to do? We've got 20 grand well, it's guaranteed. It's definitely more than a thousand, isn't it? And yeah. I think it's more than 10,000. Yeah. And I don't think it's a million. You don't? So. If you want to go for it, then that's fine. I think that's, that's probably logical. All right. Yeah. You got seven seconds. You've answer. got to give me a final answer. We're going to play. Final answer. Jamie, you're mad. Absolutely crazy. Joe and Ricky think it's ten thousand. Uh, they're sitting over there. They're sitting over there around the back. They think it's ten thousand, which is probably quite promising. Um, oh no. It's the right answer. You got fifty thousand. Yeah! It was amazing, actually. Went, oh, 100,000. Yeah, he's yeah. quite knowledgeable, knowledgeable, though, Jimmy, so... Well done, it's, Jimmy. Well it's done. 75 times a minute. It's probably a lot more at the moment. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. So, yeah it's probably so a million times, today times for me. I think so, yeah. Sum. 
Ooh, uh, fifty thousand pounds is now. That's so good. It's now the minimum amount that Kim and Jamie have to share between their charity and one of you at home. I will tell you now the prize fund total tonight. Don't forget, somebody hopefully will win this live on air at the end of tonight's show, just before ten o'clock. Seventy-five thousand five hundred pounds is now the title, and they have now earned that extra lifeline switch. All the other lifelines have gone. That was the phone a friend last one, but. They got switch. Now, Kim and Jamie are just five questions away from one million pounds. Sounds good when you say it, doesn't it? Yeah. What a team. <laughs> what a dream team. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you're happy. This is the first time you've been happy since you I arrived. Know. Kim has been went, literally. Went the moon, for someone who's done so much telly, actually, both of them, it's been like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so All right, awesome. guys, great. 50 grand guaranteed. The minimum amount. You have a mass tonight will be at least fifty thousand pounds. You can switch a question. Right, number eight. No more fighting your head against the clock. Number eight. Take your time. Don't take too long because I want to get Dominic and Mark on. But question number eight is for seventy-five thousand pounds. It's one of those guys you might as well play this because you cannot lose on this question. You are guaranteed fifty fat ones. Here's the question. What name is given to the thin band of metal on a pencil that holds the eraser in place? Oh, good. Um, <laughs> Stave, feral, crimp, ingot. Um, you could switch this. <laughs> For what though? It'd probably be even worse. I can see, but what are you thinking? I'm thinking C. I think C because it's a bit. It's a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. You what could I'm switch thinking. it. It's your call. Well, we can't. We can't. You know, yeah. We can't we're lose. So we're I mean, happy you know, with we that. both. We both think that. You know, we both. Um, went towards C, so... And I think, you know, no matter what, 50 grand's going to be That's a fantastic. huge amount of money for our Great. charities. Great. Know, yeah, so. we're made up anyway, yeah. so... Let's, well, let's have a guess yeah. at C. We'll go for C, final Don't answer. <laughs> you had £50,000? You've still got £50,000. The right answer is feral. Oh. Okay. Right. We're happy, aren't we? Oh. Oh. They were splendid. If you'd seen the state of them when they arrived, they were so proud. <laughs> so, look. Kim and Jamie have won £50,000 to share between their charities and the viewer prize pot. That now stands at £75,500. Give them a big hand. They've been great. Kim Marsh, Jamie Lomas. Bless you, guys. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thanks, Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. you.